Hello my dear students. Hope all of you are safe, healthy and happy. We have reached to the last part of the chapter representation of geographical features. I have explained different points in different parts. Till now I have done three parts in three parts different points I have explained. In the first part I have explained about scale the basic information about topographical map as well as how to locate any of the feature in that topographical map with the help of grid and stings not this okay and that second part i have explained about different colors which use in the topographical map and in the third part i have explained contour pattern and with the help of this contour pattern we can get to know different kind of land form formation okay so here in the last part i am going to tell about settlement what about settlements in a topographical map topographical map so what is settlement settlement means dwelling place of people so it can be any kind of dwelling place what i have said any kind of dwelling of people known as settlements now students we have to know that this settlements how actually that it into in our life there was no concept in the ancient period about settlement people were gatherer hunters they used to live in that natural shelters like caves but with the time when the land to grow the crops it means with the introduction of agriculture they started to settle down to look after of that crops as well as these also settlements gradually it converted to villages villages to town cities and now the time is of urbanization where skyscrapers where there is multi storied building and different kind of buildings and with the different facilities we are enjoying is it clear students so what is settlement now i'm showing a map here you just see first that you have seen the map and in that map some red patches you have seen so these are the settlements is it clear so how we can locate that settlements in that map topographical map by seeing that red patches okay now we have to know what is site site where the settlement actually stands that is known as site where the settlement stand that is known as site all of you have most probably read and remembered in sixth class of your history chapter ab about different civilization ancient civilization yes students all that ancient civilization that had been set up near to the river bank why because there were that availability of water in plenty and with this there was fertile soil which provides that also the fertility to grow crops as well as with that moderate climate which was suitable to live at that area so students this kind of facilities which also were available near to the river bank and that's why people start um, they started to settle down in this their civilization as well as the set up near to that river bank okay so now we will get to know that what are the different types of settlements are there first i am making the flow charts to show you types of settlements it can be main two type 
फर्स्ट इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टाइम अनदर इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फेसिलिटीज here on the basis of time according to that it has been divided into two category first is temporary second is permanent permanent so we have to know on the basis of time means how long people are settling somewhere first temporary this kind of settlement is that for very short period of time people are living there and these are abandoned people very often change or move one place to another place for the search of food okay so here you might have seen in the winter season a group of people who herds their cattle in that flat land area in the plain area and in the summer season they return back to their hill areas for the search of grazing land or for the search of food to feed their cattle they are known as transhumans they are known as trans humans who move according to the season okay so this kind they made the temporary kind of settlements students i will show you here a uh, image through that you will get to understand what kind of that temporary settlements look like hope you have seen that temporary settlement now the permanent settlement permanent settlement is that it means people are living somewhere for long years even generation by generation they are living there okay so that is known as permanent settlement so students whatever settlements you are looking around you in your neighborhood that all are permanent settlements clear so permanent settlements for long period of time when people are living there so this the, here i am also showing another picture of permanent settlements hope you have seen that understood now i will tell about on the basis of facilities on the basis of facilities it has been also divided two categories first is rural another is urban rural settlement is that means villages where people only engage in that fishing sector agricultures and hunting they are basically prime they used to do the primary activities and they are not having any kind of facilities they used to live simple life this is known as rural settlement and on the other hand urban settlements these are the basically cities and the towns it can uh, the, these are known as urban settlements urban settlements are having all the facilities people maximum engage in the manufacturing and trade and commerce sector okay they enjoy the modern life is it clear okay student so students i have also given the um, examples and also also said about different types of settlements now you have to know the patterns of settlements patterns means designs how people are forming that different patterns design we will get or different patterns of settlements we will get to know so patterns of settlement here these patterns divided in main three categories first 
nucleated next nucleated or compact number 2 is dispersed or scattered number 3 is linear now i will tell about this nucleated or compact where the basically the population or the people or houses live close to each other that is known as compact or nucleated you will get to see here this kind of settlements in the topographical map near and near to that junction point of any transportation are uh, like railway like roads and even sometime near to some banks or commercial areas to get facilities okay so this is nucleated or compact now dispersed or scattered here the houses basically we will not get to see close means here it will be far apart far from each other here you will get to see one houses here another will be there another will be there it means they are not close to each other and where we can get to see where the climatic condition is extreme not suitable for living as well as we can say that in the punjab haryana part where large farm are there people live there to look after of that farm they used to live in that scattered area okay so rajasthan punjab haryana we can get to see this poor settlement now i am showing the map in the topographical basically part of topographical map to understand that so last that is the linear settlement linear means when the settlement it will be formed according to that line or along to that any of the roads rivers even the shore of the lake and in that case we will get to see this is if this is the road the settlement will be along the road is it clear students so this is known as linear settlement i want to show these three types of settlements or pattern of settlement we can show this way this is compact this is dispersed and this is linear hope all of you have understood and please go through this video again and again so we have completed this chapter here so thank you students stay safe stay healthy